It's now been three days since the Boston Marathon bombings, and as yet, no arrests in this case. A press conference that had been scheduled to take place earlier on Wednesday afternoon was pushed back after an alleged bomb scare at the Boston courthouse. Joining us now to discuss, we have HuffPost crime reporter Michael McLaughlin outside of the Massachusetts Hospital in Boston. Hi, Michael. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy to be here. Uh, now, an FBI source has claimed that there has been significant progress in the in this case. So uh, that is very vague wording for sure. But what can you tell us about where we are now? It's hard to say with any certainty where we are now. The things have changed so much over the course of the day. Earlier, there were reports that they knew who it was. Then CNN said that uh, somebody had been arrested and that you know, drove a lot of people to head to the courthouse to get a glimpse of whoever this suspect might be. And now we're back to just saying that there's a lot of progress. And, you know, that that only creates more questions. It doesn't really answer very much at all. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the, the media, the Internet, they've all been abuzz with what has been a lot of misinformation, a lot of confusion. As you mentioned earlier today, there were reports of an arrest, uh, but there's not that much that we know at this point. Uh, you know, in fact, earlier there were some photos that were circling around the Internet uh, of what some people thought might be somebody that looked like a suspicious character. And we even saw a response from the FBI, basically a statement uh, that they gave that was bashing the rash reports that were coming from the media. What did you make of this statement from the FBI? Well, it's it's tough to really go by anything that photo, you know, I mean, who, who wouldn't be running away in a situation like that, right? So um, the statement, I don't know, it could just be tied down, just trying to tamp down expectations that they're close when maybe when maybe they're not. It's really tough to say what it means. And by the way, let me just read a little bit of that. It says, since these stories often have unintended consequences, we ask the media, particularly at this early stage of the investigation, to exercise caution and attempt to verify information through appropriate official channels before reporting.